What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We are talking about the Minnesota Vikings today, and we are talking about two different things. One, can the Minnesota Vikings win the NFC North? Can they overtake the Green Bay Packers? And two, is Justin Jefferson the best wide receiver in the NFL today? We're going to talk about both of those things right now. Before we jump into it, make sure you guys take time and click that like and subscribe button. Help grow this show, man. Um, help show some love and some support. Um, I greatly appreciate it, man. We're, we're over 2K. Um, we're rising at each and every day. So I appreciate any kind of help. And make sure you drop in the comments what you guys think about this video. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear from you guys. So when we look at the Minnesota Vikings, the biggest change is they have a new head coach. It is Kevin O'Connell, uh, formerly of the Rams. He is the new head coach replacing Mike Zimmer. Um, we're going to see a very different team. Uh, we're going to see a very different offense. We know O'Connell comes from the Rams, um, a very heavy pass team, um, a lot of the modern offense. And Zimmer was very old school. He was very run first and then play defense, much like Pete Carroll, who I talked about in the video earlier. Um, so we're going to see a very different offense, which can only help, you know, Justin Jefferson become the best wide receiver in football if he isn't already. So with that being said, let's jump into the Justin Jefferson thing before we go into can the Vikings win the NFC North is Justin Jefferson is the only wide receiver since he entered the league with over 3,000 receiving yards. I mean, we're talking about his rookie year and his second year in the league. He's the only guy to do it. You know, it's absolutely insane. Um, that's better than the, you know, the Devontae Adams, the Cooper Cups of the world. Now they have more catches, um, but he's looking at the, the next kind of a, that elite tier. He's about three yards per reception over those guys. So this guy is an absolute deep threat. Um, he can absolutely win in any facet of the game. Um, he is a dog man. Um, and, you know, last year people were like, oh, he's going to fall off. You know, he had a tremendous rookie year. He caught people off guard. He improved upon his campaign from his rookie year. Uh, Justin Jefferson is a legit guy playing with Kirk Cousins, who, you know, we saw Devontae Adams playing with Aaron Rodgers, and we saw Cooper Cup playing with Matt Stafford. Both of those guys are probably, I'm saying, I'm being nice, I'm saying probably better quarterbacks than Kirk Cousins. I don't think Kirk Cousins is a dog by any means, um, but, you know, Justin Jefferson's doing a lot with maybe not supreme talent at that quarterback position. When we look at it, man, the, when we talk about that elite tier, it is the Devontae Adams, it's the Cooper Cups, it's the Stephon Diggs, it's the Tyree Kills. Um, you know, it's it's going to be another tremendous season. Um, and I think with another great campaign, if he has another 100 catch, 1500 yard, 10 touchdown season, I think he takes the title as the undisputed best wide receiver in football um, just because he's so young, man, and he can do it in any facet. And we're, we're going to probably see a little bit of a – I'm not saying huge, but we're going to see a little bit of a decline uh, from guys like Devontae Adams and Tyree Kill with new quarterbacks. That's just kind of trick of the trade, right? Um, Cooper Cup's going to have another tremendous year, but he, he's different. You know, Cooper Cup is a, a very talented receiver. Um, he was a triple crown winner last year. Um, but we know Matt Stafford's getting up there in age Cooper cup kind of, he wins basically with those short and intermediate routes. Doesn't really take the top off. Um, and Diggs had a little bit of a, a decline last year. Um, was that just kind of, he was drawing double teams. They, they improve that offense. Um, can Diggs take that next step? But there's question marks with all those guys, but there's not with Justin Jefferson. Um, like I said, man, the, I, I look for him to have just another ridiculous year and take that title right now. Does he have it? No, uh, I think that either goes to Devontae or Cooper Cup. Um, but I think after this year, we do say Justin Jefferson is the best wide receiver, not only on the Vikings, but in the NFL. So when we look at the Vikings as a whole, they have some nice pieces on defense. Um, they have some older pieces that have been, you know, key cogs in the system for a while. And they have some young pieces where, you know, it's going to be really, really interesting um, to see how they they grow with the team and how they grow from a, their own personal uh, standpoint. So that, that's going to be an interesting th thing to see. Um, they're probably going to be a middle of the pack defense, um, especially without Zimmer there. You know, Zimmer was a defensive minded guy. He's a defensive specialist, um, but it's going to be, you know, interesting to get a little bit of uh, new blood in there and see how they kind of react to that. I expect this offense to blow up. All right. Um, no more is it going to be very, very predictable offense. I think that offensive line is solid, right? Um, I don't think it's best in the NFL, but I think, you know, they, they've done things like getting Darishaw over, what was it, two years ago? Um, they, they, so they got some of the guys there that's going to help protect Kirk Cousins, going to help uh, create some running room for Dalvin Cook. They have Justin Jefferson. They have Adam Thielen. They have some unknown guys 
um, that could maybe take that next step and like an Irv Smith and a KJ Osborne. Um, you know what I mean? Like when we talk about Jefferson, maybe the best wide receiver in the league. We talk about Dalvin Cook, one of the top three running backs in the league. Um, so they they have that high end stuff. They have some of those middle guys, and they have some guys that are looking to take that next step into um, you know really household names. So th- there's a lot to really like in Minnesota, and I think people are sleeping on them. So when we look at this division, the Bears are going to be closer to competing for the number one pick than they are going to be winning the division or making the playoffs. Um, they're just not a very talented roster. Uh, I feel bad for for Justin Fields. Um, the Lions are in the upswing. But I still think they're a few years away. Um, you know what Dan Campbell's doing over there. Um, he, he's doing some great things, and they have a lot to be happy about, um, considering that that franchise how down they've been for twenty years. Um, so th- there's a lot to really like about that. Uh, but I, I don't think they're there now. So I think it's a, it's a two headed race with Green Bay and Minnesota. And Green Bay's defense is very very good, man. Um, you know they they really stood tall. They never fell off last year. But when we go to the offensive side a lot of pressures on Aaron Rodgers. Now you're talking about a top five quarterback of all time. You know, some people are going to say a top three quarterback of all time. Um, We're talking about one of the greatest to ever do it. He's not super young. Okay. We've seen him have a little bit of injury problems, you know, over his career. He just lost not only his top target, but the best wide receiver in football. And they didn't replace him. Um, They have a guy who's really raw, um, and Watson, um, they have, you know, Lazard, who's, I don't, I don't see him as a number one. I am not even sure he's a true number two. Um, they just don't have a ton of talent. It's going to be a lot on Aaron Rodgers, and it's going to be a lot on those running backs in the backfield. Uh, they're going to need a lot from AJ Dillon and Aaron Jones, um, not only on the ground, but in the receiving department too. Um, I, I, I could just see teams loading up the box, playing press and going beat us. You know, can, can you do it? Can your receivers beat our corners? Um, we know Aaron Rodgers can get it done. You know, like I say, he's getting a little older, but he's one of the greats. Um, but can the wide receivers beat the one-on-one matchups? That's what's going to be interesting. Of course, their defense is nowhere near what the Packers are, um, and they don't have the Aaron Rodgers. But I just think that overall, they're, I think they're a better team, and I think they're really going to catch some people off guard. The Packers are a heavy favorite to win the NFC North. So if you're a betting man, like myself, um, I throw a few dollars down on the Vikings. You know, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing it, and I'm not saying it's super duper likely, but th- there's a lot on the upswing with that Minnesota Vikings team, and there's a lot to really, really like. And I think they're going to com- be competing for not only the playoffs, but to win that division this coming year. So let me know what you guys think, man. Do you think Justin Jefferson is the best le- best wide receiver in the league right now? Do you agree with me that it's probably going to be a year from now? Uh, do you think the Vikings are going to compete for the NFC? Uh, North title, or do you think they're going to have another, you know, seven and 10 season or, you know, what used to be seven and nine? Um, Let me know, man. Drop in the comments. Like I said, click like and subscribe, help support the show. And I will see you guys next time.